Hello everyone, welcome to the tea crane. We're in my tea chamber. It's May and we have a suitable scroll up. The scroll says a fragrant breeze approaches from the south and that exactly calls to mind that summer is on the rise. So today we're going to learn how to use these fuxa. The fuxa are 100% silk cloth that we use to clean the tea caddy and the tea scoop with and they're a very important part of the tea ceremony so it is very vital to early on learn how to use these and I will explain how we use them in our style the Enshu style of tea ceremony. This video is going to be a rather technical video. We are going to dig deep into the basics of tea ceremony. We are going to learn how to fold the fuxa in different folding ways. We have the folding to put the fuxa on our belt. We have the folding in the gathered style, which we use to cleanse the tea caddy. And we have the folding in the folded style, as we call it, to clean the tea scoop. And we'll be practicing these folding styles in this video so it might get a bit technical and the intention of this video too is actually to serve as educational material for the students that I'm teaching tea ceremony to uh, in my online courses but I hope that this video might also be interesting and resourceful for you if you are intending to start learning tea ceremony uh, anytime now. The beginning position is always like this. I will explain how we get to this position. Um, but first, what we always need to do is to get the first corner here and open it like so that we have the side with the designs and with the Grandmaster's signature here in front of us. These fuxa are always um, with a Grandmaster signature and each season they uh, change in motif. What is very important to know is that the edges here, there's one edge that is folded and there are three edges that have a hem. So it's, hem, um, it's stitched along three sides and one side is folded. So it's one um, big piece of cloth that is used to make this fuxa. And we want to be aware of where this folded side is because the folded side we always want to have to our right in the beginning because then that will also allow the Grandmaster signature to come out in the left. And so this is the starting position from where we fold this uh, fuxa. Then the first thing that we do is slide the right hand corner over onto the front of the left hand corner. So the back of the corner that we have in our right hand is on the front of the corner that we have in our left hand. So we do it like so. So these overlap. Then we're going to get both these points in our right hand. And with our left hand, we're going to slide down this edge on the left. And then we have two corners in our right hand. We're going to let the corner that is farther away drop. And so the Grandmaster signature comes out on the other side. And we have made a triangle. This is the starting position from where we are going to do our different foldings. And there are different ways of folding which we'll get into but first what we need to do before the start of the service of tea is to fold this away from you and then make sure that this 90 degree corner is on the right. This is how we put it on our belt. If we're wearing a kimono we have an obi and we put it on there. This is to show that you're in service so when you're the host you have your fuxa on your belt. All right, so let's see that from a different angle. So for the next motion, we are 
in the tea chamber we've already started the surface of tea and we're now going to use the fuxa for the first time the fuxa is on our hip and we want to get it off our hip so the first thing we need to do is to grab it here along this side and pull it down over our thigh then getting a hold of it between your forefinger and middle finger you bring the lower points up so you can also gather the upper points in your right hand now bringing this up to in front of you what you need to look for is in this case from where you're looking at it the second point this point will have the folded edge here and we of course always want to make sure that we get the folded edge because the folded edge needs to come out to the right so we get that with our left hand forefinger in and we pull that corner out letting all the rest of the the other corners come open and then we give that point to our right hand and as we then slide down to the left we get the folded side in our right hand and if we look at it here we see the grandmaster signature come out in the top left corner so this is our starting position as we did earlier we want to put the back of the right hand corner on the front of the left hand corner so these overlap and again getting those points in the right hand you slide down the left side and then we're going to let the further point that we have in the right hand drop away again and this is again the position from where we earlier folded the thing away from us but this time we're going to use uh, the fuxa to fold it in two different styles there's two different styles of folding one style we use for the tea caddy the other style we use for the tea scoop and the first style that we do is the gathered style and we use that for the tea caddy we use a ring we make a ring with our left hand we gather around the um, base here and keeping the same size of the ring all the way through we pull down until just below half then we fold the fuxa down over our thumb and we make sure that these two points align the next thing what we're going to do is to of course you want to keep it in place with your left hand and then we're going to grab these points in the right hand like so between your thumb and your palm very shallowly you don't want to get too much of it because the next thing we're going to do is to fold it um, over our left hand uh, right hand thumb again and we want to have enough space there for both hands to be under the hooks up then we're going to keep it down with our middle fingers and we fold it up in half again now it's going to get a little bit tricky what we need to do here is to bring our right hand middle finger in with our left hand thumb so that we can hold that part in in place and we can pull our left hand thumb out we want to now bring our left hand thumb in where our right hand thumb is and because we're getting a hold of the whole thing with our left hand we can also release our right hand middle finger and we pull out our right hand thumb now with our right hand we just need to keep these points pressed down and from where we are looking from in front we get the whole fuxa and this is how we fold it in order to clean the tea caddy let's have a look at that over the shoulder so now how do we use this we have it in our hand like so and the surface that is facing away from us is the part that we use to clean so we apply our hand like so and this becomes the bottom and that's how we clean the tea caddy i have a tea caddy here and what i'm going to do is 
with this surface that I just pointed out, I'm going to write a Z over the surface so we clean the entire um, lid. It's actually the katakana character for Ma in Japanese, but it resembles a Z in the alphabet that we know, so I will use that for reference. Then the next thing is to grip the fuxa in our last two fingers so that these three fingers, our forefinger, middle finger and thumb, are free to open the lid of the tea caddy. Because what we want to do after we've cleansed is to open the lid half, so we lift it up. We're first going to lift it up and then we open it half to the right. That's just to check that there is tea powder in there. And now we have to bring the fuxa out again. And before we put the tea caddy down, we briefly touch it, like so, at 6 o'clock at the front of the caddy. Remember that the front of tea utensils is always facing towards you. It's not away from you, which is often mistaken. The front of a tea caddy is always facing towards you. So we touch it at the front. And then we put that down. The next thing that we need to cleanse is the tea scoop and we've used the gathered style to make a rather narrow surface for the tea caddy because the lid of the tea caddy is a broad thing and we use a narrower folding style for a broader surface and we use a broader folding style for a narrower surface which is the tea scoop. So what we're going to do now is to make the folded style. First we fold this over, um, so we fold it to face with our thumb down and bring the uh, bottom side up. And here if you look at these points, the first point has the fold. So we put our forefinger in, let the wrist come open, and again if we slide the fuxa open to the left, the Grandmaster signature is going to be revealed here in the upper left hand corner and the folded side comes out in our right hand. Again, the same procedure, right hand corner slides onto left hand corner, keeping them in place, slide down the left hand edge and let the further corner drop away. Again, we bring our right hand up and this time from in front of us, we push so you can fold the fuxa somewhat in half. So you push along this long edge to fold this over. And again, as we did earlier, we're going to fold the fuxa over our thumb so that we create this broad surface here. Next, what we need to do is to push two thirds of the length of the fuxa under to the other side with our right hand. We get a hold of the uh, fuxa in our right hand and you'll see that these points are sticking out. On the left side, these you fold under again and you create an S shape. This gives us the surface to work with for the T-scoop. And the next thing that we're going to do is, of course, to cleanse the tea scoop. So I bring the tea scoop. What I should explain about the tea scoop is that the tea scoop always has a tip. So this is where the cutoff is. That's the tip, a node, and a bowl for scooping the matcha. 
So what we do first is we put the T-scoop with the node in the center facing up and then from the left we grip the T-scoop in. So we fold this over to the right and we grip the T-scoop in. And the first motion is to pull the T-scoop through completely. And then we put it in with the node in the center again, but this time we face the T-scoop down. And I'm going to show this a little bit to the side. The next thing, we pull the T-scoop until the bowl of the T-scoop is under our left hand thumb. And there we take both sides of the tip of the T-scoop and we turn it uh, counterclockwise 90 degrees while we push it out uh, to the other side again. And then we reposition our hand again, uh, take both sides of the tip of the T-scoop again and further push it out while we turn 90 degrees. And so it was facing down and now it has come to face up. You get a hold of the node, pulling the T-scoop out over the Fuxa. This time we are going to grip it in with the bowl and we're holding it at the node, which makes it very difficult to put the T-scoop down. So we're going to reposition our hand to the tip. And having done that, we let the T-scoop go. We bring it again over the Fuxa and put it down on either the T-ball or the T-caddy, wherever we're at this, at this stage, are going to put it down. Now, um, we are at a point in the Temai where we don't need to use the Fuxa anymore. So, we had it like so for the T-scoop. Now we open it and we're going to fold it in half to the other side. So the points here that were sticking out on, on the bottom, these will get folded in and everything will be in a nice tight package. And that is how we put it away in our kimono. We, also, we always have our belt here and in our kimono we have our fuksas, we have our um, paper, etc. that we use during the tea ceremony. So this also goes in here. So we get the fuxa out from our bosom and it should be in the same pristine shape as we put it in. Then when we, with our right hand thumb down, roll it open on our left hand, we can see that we get these points here again and the first, the top point is the one that has the folded edge. You take your uh, point with the forefinger in, let it come open, if you slide open to the left you see that we get the Grandmaster signature here. Then um, we're going to make the folded style again. So again, as we did earlier, right hand corner slides onto left hand corner, take both corners in one hand and slide down the left side. Let the further corner drop away. And then we bring the right hand up. We're gonna push against the longer side and fold the fuxa in half like so. And we let it come over our thumb. These two points align and we push two-thirds of the length under to the left, take it in our right hand and these points are now sticking out here, we push them under to the right. That is the same procedure. Now for the cleansing part of the tea, uh, the tea scoop, we are actually at this point at a stage where we've already used the tea scoop, there is powder sticking to it and we want to clean off that powder. So we're not going to put it with the node in the center, we're going to put it with the bowl of the tea scoop in the center. We grip it in and we want to be careful here um, because we are going to clean the bowl of the tea scoop, but some tea scoops might be very fragile and we're holding it here at the tip. Uh, some 
fragile these groups might actually break at the node where it is very uh, very fragile so we want to avoid that from happening and so we slide up our right hand thumb from the tip to the node there we bring the t-scoop up so we can clean the ball under our left hand thumb and now we're going to bring it to above the uh, wastewater bowl where we are going to let the, t um, the fuxa come open and using our three fingers, our middle finger, uh, ring finger and little finger to tap not onto the tea powder but besides the tea powder, like twice. After this tapping, we get the tea scoop in our last two fingers in our right hand, little finger and ring finger, so that these three fingers, thumb, forefinger and middle finger, uh, are free to take the fuxa from the right and we're going to turn it over to the left. Again, putting it on our left hand. First thing we do is we bring our forefinger of our left hand up so we can give, uh, so let these points come open and we give this point, the top point, we fold back to the left so we can give it to our forefinger and thumb. Forefinger and thumb holds this uh, point very steadily and then with the right hand we're going to get the other uh, point as well. This time we're not putting our forefinger in, we are getting the point just in whole. And then what we do is we just pull the points to both sides and you can see that we're again having it in this triangle shape but the side that we usually let drop away from us is towards us. So we have reversed the fuxa. Now what we want to do to fold it again is our left hand little finger needs to come to the front so we can use that as a pivot to fold the uh, fuxa over to the right. Then with our left hand thumb, we are going to push these lower hanging points up and we again fold the fuxa over our thumb. Now bringing our hand horizontally, we push the point that we have in our right hand to the left side as well. And here we see that these points should align and they stick out so we push them under again and we have the same S shape as we did earlier but the fuxa is now reversed. Now what we are going to do with the T-scoop is we put the T-scoop in with the node in the center facing down, fold it in, pull until the bowl of the T-scoop reaches under the left hand thumb and like we did earlier get both sides of the tip, push while you turn 90 degrees here, take both sides of the tip again, continue to push and turn 90 degrees again. And when the node comes out on the other side, you get a hold of the node, bring it over the fuxa, grip the T-scoop in with the bowl under your uh, thumb again, and reposition your right hand from the node to the tip so that it is easier to put the T-scoop this time on the T-ball. Now we're going to put the fuxa back on our, uh, on our hip. So <clears throat> we turn the fuxa over. We want to reveal these points that are on the bottom. And the first point here should be the point that has the uh, folded side on the right. So we pull that one out. Again, if we open it, we have the folded side in the right hand and the Grandmaster signature in the top left corner. Right hand corner on left hand corner, slide down to the left, let the further corner drop away and fold the fuxa in half away from you. The 90 degree corner should be to the right and we put it on our belt like so. One more time but from a different angle.
Okay, so we've gone through all the different folding styles. What we're now going to do is we're going to fold the fuxa to put it away for safekeeping. Uh, it's on our belt, so as we did earlier, we pull it down over our tie, bring the lower points up and gather all four points in the right hand. Uh, we need the second point from where we are looking at, because that's the one with the fold. And again, if we then slide down the left, we get it where our um, Grandmaster signature is. This is where we would usually start. But for folding it, where we would put it away, we would actually get the corner that we have in the right, in our left hand, and we slide down the right side because we want to bring the folded side up. The folded side comes up, we fold it towards us, and from above, you get the two points that you folded towards you and slide down the long side. Here again, we fold it towards us again, we get it in the right hand from the front, and with our right hand thumb up, you put it on your left hand, and from the right to the left, you fold it in half. This gives you this beautiful pack, and the first two corners are the two corners that have the folded side on them. So the next time, when we start using this, you take the first corner with your thumb in, and when you let the rest come open and slide it down the left side, you will see that we have the folded side in the right hand and the Grandmaster signature coming out in the top left corner. So I'm going to fold it away again, like so. So that's it for folding the fuxa. I know it's a whole lot. Um, it takes a lot of practice and it takes a lot of getting used to. I too, when I started practicing tea ceremony, this is basically what um, I learned for the very first times. Uh, it has taken a lot of practice and going through the motions over and over and over and over again. Um, but once you get used to it, it's gonna be very helpful because these folding styles, they come back in almost all the different uh, types of services that we do in tea ceremony. So this is a very basic thing and I suggest that you, well, start learning it now so that when you really need it, you get, um, you get a, heads up, a head start. And of course, if you're looking to learn more about tea ceremony or start, want to start learning tea ceremony, I um, of course teach here in Kyoto so you can come and learn from me directly here in Kyoto or if that is not possible I have many students who learn tea ceremony online as well so if you're interested in this kind of thing feel free to send me a personal email okay I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you find it useful go back watch the video multiple times at different speeds and I hope this proves to be a helpful learning resource for you. So thank you for watching this video, hope you enjoyed it, and looking forward to seeing you in another video.